What is up guys, it's James from Fish Steaks and welcome back to the channel. I know it's been a minute since we uploaded a video, but we're back and we're going to be trying to get regular content back out to you guys in Flight Sim and obviously in other games as well, just like we used to. So we're starting off today with a video I actually said I'd make a long time ago and just never got around to and that is a Sim Brief tutorial on how to use Sim Brief and more importantly how to take that data that you generate and put it into the game in order to create your own flight plan within the FMS system on board the plane inside the game itself. So we won't be using the flight planner in Microsoft Flight Simulator, we'll be using Simbrief instead. It's a bit of a long-winded process, so I'm going to split this into two videos. This is going to be a two-parter. Part one will be how to use Simbrief, part two will be how to put that data into the FMS. So hopefully that video should be out next week, stay tuned for part two. So I know we normally play um, Flight Sim on the Xbox. You can still integrate Simbrief with the Xbox version, but obviously you need a, a computer in order to use Simbrief. So that is a requirement, at least a computer or a Mac, something that can access the internet in order to get on Simbrief. So today we're going to be going, we're going to be making use of three different websites. We've got Simbrief, we've got Google Flights, and we've got Airfleets.net. Um, you will also need for part two access to this performance calculator, but we'll worry about that next week so let's start with simbrief first of all you're going to want to make yourself an account with simbrief now when if you already if you don't have an account already then when you first make your account it will ask you to subscribe and pay a subscription fee per month you do not need to do that if you scroll to the bottom when it asks you that you can just click to ignore this and continue without subscribing everything i'm about to do today is free you don't have to pay for that subscription at all so let's get into it. You make your account on Simbrief and then we are ready to start planning our flight. So let's begin. We're going to come to create new flight. And then we start with inputting our basic information, starting with the airline and the flight number. Now, in order to get yourself a realistic flight that is actually going to fly from where you want to go to where you're going to, first of all, you need to decide what flight you're actually going to be doing today. So I'm going to do the one that I always do, which is Manchester to Helsinki. Now, in order to find out which airline and which flights fly from Manchester to Helsinki, that's where our first website of the day comes in, which is Google Flights. So if we head over to Google Flights, we can start by inputting our starting destination and our final destination. So Manchester to Helsinki. And just because we are in December when I'm doing this, I'm going to change the date to a time a little bit more suitable for flying we'll st we'll go with april any time in the month of april and we'll hit search now typically you should probably do the day that you're going to fly so that you can use live weather data but for the purpose of this video i want to find a suitable flight and december is not a great time for that so i've changed the date there but it's up to you whether you want to do that or whether you want to do it on the day so what we're looking for here now is We've got a list of flights flying from Manchester to Helsinki on that day. Ideally, we want one with no stop, which there is only one here from Finnair. If your flight's got stops in it, you can. It is possible to do them. It's going to take a little bit more effort um, because you'll have to request a landing when you're over your first stop, land the plane, and then input data on the FMS again in order to take off again and do the second leg of the trip. So for simplicity, we're going to choose the one with no stop, which is Finnair, British Airways operated. So in order to get the information we want, you just simply click the down arrow. And then what we're looking for is this information here, AY1366, which is the flight number. So if we come back over to Simbrief, we're going to input our airline, which is AY. And then our flight number, which was 1366. 1366. And then we're going to want to input our departure and arrival iCal codes for both airports. Now, if you don't know what the code is, there's a very easy way to find that. And it's quite simple. You just Google it. So, for example, I'm going to Google Manchester. So if you Google Manchester ICAO code, it should come up. Every airport, it will list it in the Wikipedia. If it doesn't come up like this, if Google doesn't make it simple for you, it will always be in the wiki highlighted in bold here, EGCC which is Manchester's. So if we come back over to Simbrief, we can put in EGCC. And then our arrival destination, you can do the same thing, search for Helsinki. 
and you'll see the code there, ICAO, which is EFHK, the one in bold. EFHK. So we're going to come back to Simbrief and put in EFHK, and then that's going to load a lot of um, data for you, ready for your flight. The next thing we need to do is, well, we can actually pick our departure time. You can change that if you want. You can change the date if you want. I'm going to use today's date, even though the flight is in April, just because I may end up using live weather data. And if I'm going to do that, then I'll be using live weather on flight sim. So I need to make sure it is actually on the day that we're flying on. Otherwise, the weather data will be inaccurate. But that's up to you. You don't have to do that. Departure time, I'm going to change because I prefer early departures. So we're going to depart at like 8 a.m. Um, and then airframe is the plane that you'll be flying, which will, will be using the A320. Select that. And again, it's going to automate some data for us. Now down here, we want to use a real plane registration and a real ATC call sign. Um, so, in order to get that, that's where our second website of the day comes in, which is airfleets.net. Now, for airfleets.net, it's basically a database of uh, every airline and all the planes registered to that airline, both active aircraft and historic aircraft, with all of the data that we need. Um, so, we know we're flying with Finnair, so we're going to start by searching for Finnair. Hit search, and on the airline you should see the one that you're looking for, which in our case is Finnair. We're going to click that, and then we get a list of all the aircraft registered to Finnair at the moment. As we can see on Airbus A320, there are currently 10 active aircraft and 2 historic aircraft. So if we select the 10 active aircraft, we then get a list of those aircraft. Um... So you can pick any of these, really, if you want further information in order to get one that flies your flight path, then you can click on the registration and you will get that information. So if we choose this top one by clicking the registration, we can scroll down and we can see it's recorded flights. And you can actually see in 2019, there was one right here that actually flew from Manchester to Helsinki. Um, so that's great. So we are going to use this flight registration, which is OH-LXA. So if we come back to Simbrief, we can simply put that in. OH-LXA. The fin number you can customize if you really want to, or you can leave it with the automated one from Simbrief. And the call sign should be correct. With Finnair, you can you can sometimes change like they sometimes change the AY to FIN. Um, so we'll do that for the purpose of being different. But it it's normally accurate what um what Simbrief gives you, because it's usually the airline plus the flight number. So AY1366. Okay, and down here, all this data, we can really leave um, with the auto data. Your captain name, it will take from your login information as well as your pilot ID. So if we come down now, here's the main bit. This is what we're here for. Creating our route. As you can see, it's already created as one. We've got it right here. Um... And we could go ahead and use this one, or you can select any of the suggested routes down here. Now, if you scroll down slightly, you can see a map of your route um, that you would be flying. And I actually quite like this one. It's quite a nice route because it goes uh, straight through Denmark. It's fairly simple, fairly straightforward. But there is a list of different ones. Obviously, the more waypoints in here there are, the more you're going to have to type into the system. This is actually a fairly lengthy flight. I mean, there's probably a shorter... So what this means is this is the distance in nautical miles and then the plus percentage is as the crow flies. So for example, like from Manchester to Helsinki as the crow flies would be minus like 17.2% of whatever your distance is. So the shorter this number is, the less distance has been added on in the flight plan. Um, so if I just go, if I just take a look through these see this one's much shorter only plus 6.5 it's a shorter flight but it's also a less entertaining flight because there's a lot of water here we don't go through denmark but again this is the beauty of simbrief is you're going to get to select all of this stuff this one's all right i think yeah through hamburg it's not too long i mean f plus 15 percent it doesn't really matter though um 
I'm gonna go with this one. I quite like it. I, li I prefer the ones that fly over land just so you've got something to look at as you fly. But again, it's totally up to you. You can pick from any of these. You can even click view more routes and pick from any of these as well. So you pick one, you get your flight data sorted for you. And you can check here exactly what that flight's gonna look like. And that's pretty much it. So once you're done with that, you can scroll up here. Oh, one more thing we should do is obviously before we generate this flight, just because we are putting it into Microsoft Flight Simulator, and Microsoft Flight Simulator uses pounds instead of kilograms, we're gonna switch that to pounds. Should probably save that as default, to be honest. But that is it. Once that's done, we can hit generate flight. Hit yes. Okay, once that's done, your flight is generated. And to be honest, most of the information you will need to input into the game is here. This is all the information that you're going to be entering into your FMS. Um, but here's your, here's your flight map as well. But if you want to get really in depth with it, if you come up here to your print slash view PDF, these, okay, these PDFs are set up exactly how a pilot would also receive their flight plan. So these are really cool for the realism aspect and all your data is in here should you need it. We're going to be going over this in the next video, like exactly what information you're going to need um, to input into the plane. We're going to be going over exactly what data from this you'll need in order to input into the plane to generate this flight plan in the next video. So stay tuned for that. I just wanted to cover today how to use SimBrief, keep it fairly short. And if you guys then don't know how to use the FMS within the game, we can cover that in the next video. But here's where you get your data for real world flights set up as though you were an actual pilot this is the kind of thing you would receive there's so much data on here like you can get really in depth with it um down here we should even have all our mapping and weather data and alternate routes and all that good stuff um not for real world navigation but based on real world navigation and that is the beauty of simbrief so your main data that you're going to need is your routing information which is right here this is what you'll be inputting into your fms in order to create your flight plan which we'll go over in the next video but that pretty much covers simbrief and how to use it on a very basic level in order to get you guys going with that Stay tuned for the video, hopefully next week, where we take this data and we input it into the FMS on the A320 in the game. And also stay tuned for a few more videos covering some of the DLC in the marketplace at the moment for Flight Sim and whether or not we think it's worth you guys picking it up. So until then, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Let us know in the comments if there's anything else you'd like us to take a look at on Flight Sim or on any other game tips, achievement guides, anything like that. And we'll see you in the next video. Matare! Damn, it's good to be back.